she's rolling. Hi and welcome to Fun with Fromage with me Ellen and the lovely Phil, my glamorous sister. Um, do, you, do you want to explain the premise of today's cheese video? Well um, as you can see we've got cheese mountain here. Um, Just resting in the sun. Yeah it's only been in the sun for a second. Um, so obviously um, cheese is great but what we thought we might do is shake it up a little bit and review the natural friend of cheese the cracker the cheese cracker board selection so uh, this is a morrison's biscuit choice do you want to open that up and uh, tell us what biscuits in it are don't love that bad boy doing it doing it okay Tell us what the, uh, the okay. biscuits are, I'll uh, we'll wash them out. Nice and loud because I'm making a lot of noise. Yep. So we have a beetroot and seed cracker. Does we that sound good? Yeah. We, we have a sea salt and chive cracker, a sweet wheat cracker, a cracked pepper water biscuit, a stone ground wheat cracker, and last but not least, a, uh, a rosemary cracker. So that's beetroot and seed. Let's have a bit of that on its own. Where do you stand on that? That that, that doesn't taste beetroot. It's got a, a, a sort of slight beetroot hue to it, but um, not really. Um, it's nice. I like beetroot. All right. This is nice. Yeah, yeah nice and fancy. Nice crumble. But Sally, what, what sort nice of cheese do you fancy on that? What we've got is a bit of that pearl ass, the last of the pearl ass. We've got some uh, Montagnolo. We've got the last of the Green Thunder. Only a tiny bit of that. A uh, tiny bit of the uh, nibble nose. Nibble nose. A bit of nibble nose on a beetroot. Yep. Drop a bit of butter on it. Nope. That's all the, the nibble nose we've got left. I love the smaller half. <laughs> so the nibble nose is a orange and whiskey cheese with a beetroot cracker. We'll see how that bad boy uh, pans out. Okay, it's perfectly all right. Yeah. But lost in the... Yeah. That's what what are the, the other flavours? Whip the box over. What are these? Sea salt and chive. No. Yeah, that's a rosemary. That's sea salt and chive. What, yeah. what do you want with that last bit of nibble nose? I think I've eaten it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so let's go with the sea salt and chive then. What do you think goes with the sea salt and chive? I want some Montagnolo. Yeah, I was thinking Montagnolo on that. Yeah. Shall we try a bit of cracker on its own first? Yes. This is a rosemary cracker. You can tell it's a rosemary cracker. It's got a nice crunch to it. It's got a little bit of rosemary tang. Montagnolo is a big hit for us. Yes. I think you want a little bit more than that on that yes, full cracker. Yes, I do. I'll we'll slide that along. There you go. Mmm, tasty. This is uh, the cheese we reviewed the uh, most recently. It's got. Um, yeah. It's from the cheese shop in Louth. You'll see their wax paper there. Italo no, German cheese. Mmm. It's a German cheese. It's very tasty. Yeah, that is great, and that's quite good on that cracker. I'm surprised because it's such a creamy and smooth cheese, and although it's quite sharp and it's uh, little depth charges of blueness, it's so smooth and mild. But actually, that um, sea salt and, and chive cracker is almost lost in it, isn't it? Mm. I mean, a perfectly good cracker to have with that. Yeah doesn't overpower the cheese but um, yeah although I suppose the saltiness it's quite salty cheese anyway do you want a bit more of that on a different cracker what we're gonna do we're gonna do all six crackers yeah we gonna do three at a time no really. no one wants to watch endless thing Come on, we're judging the, the box let's have a, have a bit of uh, rosemary wasn't the other one rosemary was that chive? no I think we've just had the um, the sea salt and chive I thought I tasted rosemary oh shit you are sat next to a massive rosemary bush Oh, that's definitely rosemary, It's got rosemary. a nice rosemary yeah, finish, sorry. isn't it? What do you want with that? Do you want that? Or do you want a bit of the green thunder? Oh, 
I'm feeling bombarded by cheese. You're rushing I think that's me. a bad thing. I want, I want to savour this stuff. What a crap! Mm. Oh no, no, sorry. Um, can I have some red Leicester? Yeah, yeah, you can. Um, do, shall I get a cheese plane? Oh my god, this video's going to take. Quick bit to camera. This is me doing a quick bit to camera. That fella just sprung on me. Brilliant. I hope you're all well. We are. Bit bored, a little bit anxious as well, but you know, sun's out. That's quite nice. We've got cheese. That makes us very lucky. We'll do an entire video somewhere dedicated to the glory of the cheese plane. Um, Gee, I'm sure people will be on the edge of the seats waiting for that. Uh, a good cheese plane, where you pull off a beautiful slice like that, really flat. So. You get all that taste on your tongue. Brilliant. There you go. Is that enough or do you want two slices? No, no, no. It's a nice thin slice. It's all good. That might have liked a little bit of butter. No time for buttering. Got another butter on that as well? No, no time for that. We've we'll, we'll got all we'll the time in the world. No, we haven't got all the time in the world. They're busy people. They're busy people. They've got places to be, things to do. And instead they're watching us eating cheese. That, that's um, cracked pepper water biscuit. And <laughs> we both sniffed that. Like we're going to smell a water biscuit. Not very peppery. What do you want on that? Yeah. Come with the Montagnolo again on the uh, table water biscuit. I think I might just uh, box the Montagnolo out a bit there. So Montagnolo Mountain. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. The Montagnolo becomes mm -hmm. the star there. Num Again, it's just, that's just great cheese with a perfectly nice, yeah, inoffensive nice. cracker. Yeah. You want the yeah? Uh, that sounds a bit faint praise, but I think that's a sweet biscuit. Yeah, not very sweet. Not, no, it's quite sweet actually. Sweet comes afterwards. <clears throat> I still have the taste of cheese in my mouth. There. Oh, that's very sweet. Mm. Sweet mm. biscuit with a. Um, that's a sweet wheat cracker. It's yeah. brilliant with white Stilton. Do you want to try it with the uh, pear last then? Yeah, go on. That's the nearest sort of to Stiltony type cheese that we've got here. I've literally just finished a workout and uh, do you know what I would say eating an awful lot of cheese straight after doing a mixed martial arts punch-a-thon might not be the way forward. But at least you're covering up the bad smell of any cheese that's a little too well. Are you joking? That's perfectly nice. Yep, that's the pearl ass might be heading into uh, really quite ripe territory now. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. What? The box is going to blow off. Box was on the edge of the table. Nice. This is television gold. This is, isn't it? Mm. Us eating. Yeah. Mm. That's not to like. No. Nah. I'm not entirely convinced about sweet biscuits with cheese. Maybe if it was a sweet cheese like the rum and figs. On second thought, I might find that too sweet, the, the rum and honey cheese that we tried a few weeks ago. Yeah. Have we got one class left to try? Yeah, we have. What is it? <coughs> this double fella. Oh. Stone ground wheat cracker, which is which you should try with Wensleydale and cranberry. Nope. 
We're going for green thunder. It's the end of the green thunder. Chop that bad boy. Green thunder. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to pop the Monsac Nolo away so it's not in direct sunlight. It's not going to be direct sunlight for long anyway, is it? I would have eaten it. The, the cracker to cheese ratio there is quite spectacular. Do you want another biscuit? Do you, do you, want, to, do you want to sandwich that? Yes. Thank you. How's that? Cheese overpowers the cracker. Not surprisingly when you've got a honking grip piece of cheese in there. It's all right. So what do you think of out. what do you think of this um, cracker selection overall? Um, it's a very nice. How, how, what's its price point? What, what, how much does it cost? I'm not sure what it's meant to cost, but at the moment it's one pound fifty a box. <clears throat> you get all that in there. Yeah, yeah, that's quite good value for money. Yeah. Yeah, I've eaten too much cheese. Six crackers. The um. Yeah, they're all good. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the sweet ones. I don't mind the sweet ones, actually. I think there's a place for a sweet one with a nice bit of chutney and uh, and the, the right cheese. A, a Wensleydale-y sort of a cheese or something I would fancy with Like that. a crumbly white cheese, like a Cheshire or yeah. something like that. It says here, Wensleydale and Cranberry, and yet a crumbly cheese. Yeah. Is Cheshire a crumbly one? No, is it not yeah. Cheshire? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I think Cheshire might be quite nice. Very sharp. You yeah. know, and that would go nicely with the sweet. Well, maybe we need to get a nice bit of Cheshire in. Yeah. You, you sort of went off Cheshire for a while, didn't you? You always tell me you don't like cheese. I'm faddish. Yeah, I'm yeah. very faddish. Right. Well, I think that was good. Do you, uh, what, do you want to finish in, anything else on? No, I don't even know why I'm eating that, because I'm, I'm, I'm cheesed out. Yeah, I think, uh, I think they could, some of them could have been benefited from a bit of buttering. As well, well, as well the yeah, cheese. but, you know. Never mind. Yeah. Right, well, that television gold, we can put that in the bank, can't we? And I'm sure people will have found that hugely entertaining. Well, I fail to understand why anyone watches any of these, to be perfectly honest. You keep honest. putting the buggers out. Yeah, well, the um, um, just a quick uh, hi to Danny. Oh, I'm sure oh, yeah. Danny's not watching, but uh, um, it was Danny who introduced me to the glory of the cheese plane. Was it? Yeah, many, many years Danny ago. Danny in Australia, Danny? Danny in Australia, Danny, yeah. Oh. Um, and uh, I've never been without one since. Well, you'll have to do your own special edition of the cheese plane then. And, and it could be like cheese porn, cheese plane porn. Ooh. Lots of close-ups on yeah. there. Yeah. And you just salivating. That'll be something for everyone to look forward to. Anyway, yeah, stay safe, wash your hands, and be nice, and stay indoors. And With cheese? Yeah. Go press stop. Mm. Bye!